Are you thinking about relocating to South Surrey, White Rock, BC? Well, if you are, you're gonna to wanna to stay tuned to this video because in it, I'm gonna share the five best reasons, the five best things about living here in the South Surrey, White Rock area. Now, chances are you've heard rumor about how great it is to live here. You may have heard of some of the things that I'm gonna speak of today, but make sure you stay tuned because some of the things that I'm gonna share with you may just surprise you. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna share with you a little secret, a secret area, if you will, that many people do not know about here in the South Surrey area. Hey, my name's Glenn Hopkins. I am a local realtor here in the South Surrey and White Rock area. If you need help buying or selling a home or maybe just have a real estate related question, please feel free to reach out to me. If you go to the description box below, you're gonna find a link where you can click on that to schedule a call. Also, while you're there, you'll see a couple of other links for my podcast and a free downloads as well. So make sure you take advantage of those. So number one is the weather. As you've probably heard, it's very mild here in the South Surrey White Rock area. In fact, the average summer temperature is between 13 and 22 degrees. Now, to many of you, 22 degrees might not sound like it's warm enough, but let me tell you from firsthand experience, a summer with 22 degrees and sunshine is absolutely perfect. And I'll tell you why. You're not walking around in humidity. You're not sweating. You're not totally melting in the sun. You don't need from to run from an air-conditioned house to an air-conditioned vehicle to an air-conditioned office. You can use that, obviously, but 22 degrees, in my opinion, is just absolutely perfect. Now, the other great thing about the weather here in the summer is, in South Surrey and White Rock, we boast more sunshine than pretty much any other area in Greater Vancouver which makes it great for the beaches and all the sun and fun type activities that we have here in and around the White Rock area. And I'll share more about that with you in a few minutes. Now in the winter months, the average temperature is between two and seven degrees. It rarely goes below zero, which is really nice. So what's that mean? Well, it means we don't get any snow. We don't have to shovel. We don't have to shovel rain either because, well, there's a lot of rain. And that's something that you do indeed need to get used to. If you're not accustomed to the rain, be sure to be aware that when you get out here in the winter months, it does rain a lot. Now, the best advice I ever got when I first moved here, and I've been here for about 22 years or so, after about two years, a gentleman told me, he said, Glenn, you just need to learn to ignore the rain. And from that day going forward, that's exactly what I did. I just ignored it and went about my business. So. My advice to you is when you move out here for the winter months especially, you're gonna to wanna to buy some proper rain gear. You get the proper rain gear, you don't need umbrellas, you simply put on your hoodie and off you go enjoying your day, which is exactly what all the kids do. They just go about laughing and playing in the puddles and enjoying their time. By the way, a sign of a true BCer is someone who does not carry around an umbrella in the rain. Rather, they just wear their proper rain gear, put on their hoodie and off they go. Number two is the shopping and amenities. Living here in South Surrey and White Rock, you have all the shopping and amenities that you could possibly ever want or need. And it's amazing because you never actually have to leave town. We have all the big box stores such as Home Depot, Superstore, Best Buy, Indigo, Winners, you name it, they're pretty much all here. And if you're looking for you know, a mall of sorts, we have a great outdoor shopping area called Grandview Corners. This is an outdoor mall. It's kind of cool because they play music all the time. You can walk about and they have all your typical chain stores that you would see in your average mall in North America. Places like Soft Mock, we've got R&W, we've got Garage, we've got Old Navy, and you name it, it's pretty much all there. In fact, like I said, there's really no reason to leave town. Sometimes maybe at Christmas you want might want to venture off to a mall. Well, Tawasin Mills Mall is just about 25 minutes away. It's a massive mall with absolutely everything you could want if you're into retail shopping. Now, as far as food and restaurants go, well, if you're down on the promenade along the water, there's lots of great little spots for coffee and, and eating, fine dining as well. Um, but mostly here through South Surrey and White Rock, you're gonna find mainly fast food and chain restaurants. Places like White Spot, Cactus Club, Earl's, and so on. And of course, we have all the basic amenities that every town has. We have the library. We have a rec center. We have a great rec center, actually. And if you're into working out, there's a lot of gyms here as well. We've got Steve Nash and Club 16 and a couple of others. Now, the number three key benefit or best thing about living in South Surrey and White Rock, believe it or not, is home prices. Now, I've got to preface that by saying that 
Real estate here in South Surrey, White Rock, and really all of Greater Vancouver is extremely, extremely expensive. Okay, having said that though, when you compare South Surrey, White Rock, or the Fraser Valley to Greater Vancouver, the Fraser Valley is considerably cheaper. Now, at the time of recording this video, it is May 2022. And according to the uh, Real Estate Board of Greater Vancouver, the average detached home, the benchmark price, is $2 93,600. In the Fraser Valley, it's 1,712,500. Now for townhouses in Greater Vancouver, it's 1,141,200 versus 918,900 in the Fraser Valley. For condos, the average condo in the Greater Vancouver area is 799,700 versus 581,400 in the Fraser Valley area. Now, of course, every area or sub-community is going to be a little bit different. Again, this video is about South Surrey and White Rock. South Surrey and White Rock are part of the Fraser Valley. However, they are a sub-community and the prices are a little bit different. So if you wanna know what those are, uh, feel free to reach out and contact me. I am a local realtor here in the area and I can help you with that at any time that you might be watching this video. Again, I'm recording this May 2022, so the numbers I just shared with you are based on May 2022. So those numbers may have changed by the time you watch this video. Now the fourth best thing about living in South Surrey and White Rock is the proximity to pretty much everything you could want. For most areas in town, you're like five to 10 minutes to the US border. And a lot of people like going across the border to get cheap gas. And if you wanna go a little further into the state of Washington, you can do some shopping as well. The distance to the Vancouver airport from South Surrey White Rock is usually about 40 minutes. And if you're commuting into Vancouver, you're looking at approximately 60 minutes. So, you know, if you want to go in and watch concerts and hit a big stadium event, you're going to need to go into Vancouver because we don't have that here in South Surrey and White Rock. But again, it's typically about 60 minutes into the city. Also about 60 minutes away is the North Shore Mountains. These mountains are absolutely spectacular. If you wanna see rainforest and be engulfed in trees and beauty, you wanna head out to the North Shore Mountains. We have Grouse Mountain, we have Cypress Mountain, both places you can do skiing, hiking, mountain biking, you name it. It's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, on Grouse Mountain, there's a place called Grouse Grind as well, where you pretty much walk straight up the side of a hill for 45 to 45 minutes or so, depending on how healthy you are um, and active you are, but it's gonna take you anywhere from 40 minutes to an hour, let's say. And uh, it's a great hike and it is indeed a grind. Now I'm sure you've heard of Whistler, BC, Whistler Village. Well, Whistler is about two hours Hours from South Surrey White Rock and when you get up to Whistler it's you know it's just like all the pictures and videos you might have seen it's absolutely stunning Whistler is a great place it's a world-renowned village where people go to ski snowboard snowmobiling there's mountain biking it has a massive mountain biking park every year actually in the summer they have something called Crankworks where it's a, a competition it, there's races involved but there's also a lot of freestyle jumping so it's really uh, fun to watch the 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 advanced mountain bikers, some of the tricks that they can do are quite remarkable. And of course, I should mention that Surrey is known as the city of parks. So Surrey being part of Surrey, of course, it's great. We get to benefit from all of that. We have over 6,000 acres of parkland here in Surrey. And up on what 24th and 148th in South Surrey, you're gonna find the Sunnyside Urban Forest. There's miles and miles of forest there, trails, mountain biking, absolutely, absolutely stunning. And finally, the fifth best thing about living in White Rock, at least according to most of the locals here, is the beaches. We have beautiful beaches here in White Rock. But first, in case you don't know, White Rock was named after, well, a big white rock that's on the shore of White Rock Beach. This rock is more than four meters high, and they say it's weighing approximately 486 tons. It is a massive, massive boulder. And there are some various stories about how the rock actually got there, but scientists at least figure that it was a glacial deposit that was left behind when the glaciers receded. And by the way, if you're wondering how it stays so nice and white, well, the city paints it pretty much every year. Okay, so let's get into the beaches. Here in White Rock proper, we have over eight kilometers of sandy beach. 
when the tide goes out, the beach becomes very wide as well. And we have tidal pools. And these tidal pools are a lot of fun for the kids. You'll see them playing around in those puddles. You see kids doing their, uh, their skimboarding. They actually have classes here where kids can join a class and learn how to skimboard. Where else can you do that? To me, that screams vacation town. Now, White Rock Beach is divided into two, and it's divided by what locals call the hump between East Beach and West Beach. And West Beach is more on the side where you're going to see the pier, which, by the way, is the longest pier in all of Canada. When you walk down that pier, it's a walk in itself. You get to the end of the pier and you'll often find kids jumping into the water off the pier, doing their pier jumping. You're going to see crabbers out there and a lot of people with their cameras out taking photos of the pier, the water and White Rock. One thing about White Rock is it's very, very photogenic. In fact, there are a couple of Facebook groups here where people do nothing but share their photos of White Rock. Now on the other side, East Beach, it's a little bit quieter and what you'll find more there is people building sandcastles, sunbathing, you'll find uh, kite surfers and the odd dog not on a leash. Now I should say that dogs are allowed on the beaches, both the west and east side of White Rock Beach. However, they need to be, technically they need to be leashed at all times. Oh, and perhaps the coolest thing about White Rock Beaches are having beach fires. There's nothing more incredible to me at least than on a warm summer's evening, having a beach bonfire. By the way, I don't think they're actually technically allowed, but a lot of people do them anyways. Now, the other beach that we have here in South Surrey is Crescent Beach. Crescent Beach is a beautiful, beautiful beach to stroll along. It's a very quaint area. There's some coffee shops, ice cream shops, fish and chips, things like that. Um, but it is very, very busy. There's only one road in and out of Crescent Beach, and it tends to get extremely busy on those nicer days. Nonetheless, it's worth the drive and it's worth going because it is absolutely breathtaking. One of the cool things, by the way, is if you have a dog, there's an off-leash dog park there um, on the water. It's a beach dog park where dogs can actually run free and play in the water. Also at Crescent Beach, you're going to see a lot of family picnics. A lot of people gather there. They have their family picnics and they actually hang out there for the entire day, playing frisbee, playing games, and just sitting back and enjoying the sunshine. Um, if you're not comfortable letting your dog off leash, there is a fenced dog park there as well. Also, another thing you're gonna find in the Crescent Beach area is a lot of families coming in, family picnics. People will bring in their barbecues, they'll bring in their tents, and just sit there and enjoy the entire day out on the beach, on the lawn with their families. Okay, so I'm gonna let you in on a little known area over in the Crescent Beach side. There is actually a nude beach. So if you're into that kind of thing, there is a nude beach close to Crescent Beach. Now to get there, you're going to want to go down 24th. And at the end of 24th, you're going to come across a place called a thousand and one steps. Nice area. Go down those steps. And what you're going to do is you're going to head left. You're going to turn left or go south. And if you walk down a little bit, you'll eventually run into, well, the nude beach. Personally, I've never been there, but hey, if that's your kind of thing, go for it. All the power to you. If you're not into that, turn right and walk the other direction. So that's it. Those are the five best things about living in White Rock in South Surrey, BC. Again, my name is Glenn Hopkins. And if you have any questions about relocating to South Surrey or White Rock, BC, please feel free to reach out, schedule a call. There's a link in the description box below.